What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are installing some boost auto parts, switchback turn signals on my GM 15 and 19 tow mirrors. These are not factory OEM tow mirrors and these are not currently boost auto parts mirrors either. These are $130 pair of mirrors off of eBay and so far they've done me well. I've had them for a little over a year. I'll link the install video in the description below. Also up top here in the corner. I cannot link the mirrors themselves though because they are sold out and they don't offer for them anymore. Now like I said these are from eBay. Cheap mirrors have done me well so far. You can see these lenses have a little bit of moisture in them. My camera focuses. Yeah you can see the moisture in them. I mean it is what it is. You get what you pay for. It's a cheap mirror but Boost Auto Parts has hooked us up. Boost Auto Parts has hooked us up with a really nice set of smoked lenses. With a really nice set of smoked lenses that are gonna replace these orange ones. And also it's the lights themselves. Right now these lights have little dots and they're amber dots. And so when the lights light up, they look like this. And we're gonna be putting these guys on. And you can see these are LED strip, white LED strip. I'm gonna wire them in so that way when you flick the turn signal, they will flash amber. And they should look something like this. And overall, from what I'm seeing and reading from Boost, this isn't a terrible install. You don't have to take the mirrors off the truck or anything. Literally everything is accessed behind these glass panels. The only thing that scares me is these are cheap mirrors and I don't want them to break. I hope they don't break. I guess if they do, we'll get some Boost Auto Parts mirrors themselves. That's why I kept my sport mirrors, my white sport mirrors, just in case I ever broke these because they are cheap. All you gotta do is pull off these glass pieces, which we'll do here in a second. All the wiring is accessed behind the glass and obviously the the bolts to put in the lens itself is accessed behind that glass let's get these mirrors pulled off and we'll get these lights installed one thing to note is boost supplies you with all the wires necessary to make these lenses work the way they should and they give you a lot of adapters as well because there's a lot of different aftermarket mirrors out there they want to make sure that your new lights are going to work on your truck all right, to start off, you want to fully extend your mirror. It's the first time I've ever done that. <laughs> We're going to push it out a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. But what you want to do, you want to pull these glass panels off. So if I do this correctly, they won't break. So you push the bottom one all the way down and the top one, just like that. You're supposed to get your fingers underneath and just kind of pull and hope that they don't break. All right, that one came off uh, with no issues, the bottom part. Here's gonna be the hard part, I think. I don't wanna break any of these clips, but I feel like it's possible with cheap mirrors. We're gonna go from the bottom and try that. God, I don't wanna break these. All right, so surprisingly did not break any of these clips, but we do have to take off. Here's our heating elements, and this is the turn signal on the glass side, so we've got to pull those out. And now just the mirror face itself is exposed. Now we need to take off these screws. There should be four of them, two up top and two down the bottom. From what I read, if they're aftermarket, they are a Phillips head. If they are OEM mirrors, they're like a T15 Torx. So we'll, we'll take those off and then remove this face. And just like that, everything is exposed. To get the side marker out, the side light, it's gonna be these two screws right here, top and bottom. And um, this here, that's actually the lights that currently power this, so we definitely wanna unplug that. All right, so two screws and then this should come out. Here we go, here's what we had in the mirrors. This is what we're putting in them. These are gonna look good. It's the same thing to get these on. We're just gonna put these back in place, line this up with this little hole right here, and we'll screw it all together, and then the lens itself will be on. All we gotta do is the wiring. All right, that's in. Let's see this thing. Oh yeah. Already, that's sick. That's smoked lens. Now it's not lit, obviously, but compared to this guy right here, I know I don't have the optimal lighting. The lighting is kind of not in my favor right now. But look at this. 
That's gonna look sweet. All right, now I guess this is where it's gonna start getting sketchy because I kind of pieced these mirrors together. Now, if you have OEM factory mirrors or Boost Auto Parts mirrors, I guess you will have a dual function harness already in here that you're gonna have to cut out to install these switchbacks. I don't have any dual function harness, these are aftermarket eBay mirrors, but I did wire in Boost, <laughs> hear me out, I did wire in the Boost harness to get them to work plug and play for the truck. So I don't believe I have any kind of dual functioning harness in these mirrors at all so I believe I should just be able to start plugging in the adapters and these should work so hopefully fingers crossed let's 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 go <laughs> All right, now I skipped ahead a little bit, but it ended up being really, really easy. I didn't want to confuse anybody because all aftermarket mirrors, depending on it for eBay, Amazon, Boost, OEM, they're going to have different kinds of wires, basically. But um, all I did, I didn't even need this adapter for my mirrors, but all I did was take the harness here the Boost provides you, Boost provides me, um, and literally plug it into this blue. If you, this blue is what used to be on the outside. I plug the Boost one right into there, and then all you do is tap into the signal on glass, so your turn signal, tap into it with this little thing, I forget what it's called, T, shroud, whatever, and you literally, this is if you have old style mirrors, and the other side plugged right in, to the the light so we have power and i actually tested it out already check this out let me see can you see it if i unlock my truck they have power now that is um that's the turn signal so it is amber let's turn on the mirror lights themselves so we can see what they look like oh yeah that's sick that's sick look at that oh that was so easy so here's our old style there's the dots that i was talking about and here's our new boost auto parts oh that is so sick that looks good let's put a turn signal on Wow, that looks good, and that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, completely honest. I, that's actually why I've been holding off on installing these, because I thought it was gonna be really difficult, but overall, working time, getting this entire mirror on, was probably 10, 15 minutes. So literally, all you have to do is tuck all these wires back in, pop the shroud back on with these four bolts, put on the mirror glass, and it's done. Literally that easy. I'm actually not gonna show that part, just because it's boring, but, Everything we did to get it to this point, we're just gonna reverse. So um, I'm gonna get this on. I'm actually just gonna do the other side. I'm gonna show you the finished product and talk a little bit about it. guys and that is it finished product what do you think i think they're pretty awesome this is just with the running lights on they are two led white strips which i think look really good because they match the front headlights and this white led strip right here so um, prior when i had the amber lights the amber lights i think match kind of like the turn signals down on the bottom but these end up working out really really well also because you got a white led strip the white LED strip and when you put the turn signals on turn signals on they flash amber I still have my functionality on the inside of the mirrors so that still flashes we got the turn signal light amber and this turn signal if it focuses also flashes amber so that's super cool all right and just like that everything is done on the truck I gotta be honest with you I thought it was gonna take a lot longer than it really did after I shut the camera off and did the other side by myself, it literally took like 10 minutes and it was done. Super easy and a quick mod that 
I'm pretty sure anybody can do. Huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts once again for hooking me up with these lights. They are awesome. There's a bunch of links in the description below if you want to get yourself a set of these lights or any other Boost equipment, their mirrors, wire harnesses, whatever you need. And I believe that's it. That's, that's all I got for you guys today. Sorry about the B-roll on it. The truck's filthy. Uh, we got to get that thing cleaned up. Got a new foam cannon and stuff like that. Might be, uh, might be able to do a review on it soon, but uh, check out Motivated Merch if you haven't already. Really appreciate the support uh, on the brand. Like the video if you haven't. Subscribe, join the family, join the build, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.